that reupholster our old galley seats. First thing we're gonna do is remove the old fabric, then we'll see what the state of the foam is. And if it's good, then we can just recover the same foam and add a new layer of uh, batting. Guess I'll just start over here. Yeah. Mine broke. It feels okay. I think we can reuse that. Looks pretty good. For some reason, there's a layer of duct tape around. So there's the original fabric right there. Yeah. Look at that, it's like green, white, red, with different colored stripes. being extra helpful. Extra padding. It's too short now. So the extra padding added a little bit too much. Okay. We're using uh, stainless steel staples, by the way. Excess. Basically, we'll tuck this in here. finish it up all the staples are in I like to go back and 
hammer on each staple just to make sure they're nice and set. Well, let's see it. Fancy. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but it is actually a dark blue. The threads are coming out super, super easy. So we're just going to put this thread uh, fabric glue on here on the edges. Our canvas guy just came and installed all of this interior. He said not to peel any of the window tape off yet until he's totally done, but it's really tempting. We'll do it for you eventually, I promise. More progress today. There's these little tracks right here. Super dry in here. The next thing we're going to do is install the uh, pressure gauges on the Raycorus, which will allow us to know if there's any blockage in the line due to the issue we had when we were trying to move the boat to Seattle. All right, well today we're going to go ahead and put some LED lights in the engine room. It's super dark down there. There's some fluorescence. One of them works, one of them doesn't. So we're gonna rip all that out and get some uh, some nice LEDs in there. First thing we're gonna do is we've got these 12 volt lights. There's one on each side. And then there's that one that doesn't have a bulb, uh, which is 120 volt. We're gonna pull all those out. And basically our plan is to put an LED light on each side and then two down the center, which should give us some good lighting in the engine room um, when we're trying to work. Oh, that one does work. Huh. Okay, so that's good. So that means we already have the wiring to that. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. This one's called Sea Dog. I'm gonna undo these wires. They're hot, so I'm just gonna cap them. Right now, it's just 12 volts, so not a super big deal, but still don't want them to arc. What's the saying? Work it hot, ground it cold. <laughs> look at those old school lights. They look like fuses. It's crazy. We need to get some uh, sound proofing down here as well. It'll be one of our big upcoming projects sometime in the future. Yeah, if anyone uh, has any recommendations, let us know. They must have not been good enough or they wouldn't have put these fluorescent lights down here, you know what I mean? So we're not replacing the AC lights. We're only just removing them and replacing them with the 12 volt LED lights. Okay, let's get this thing off. Oh, it does work. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm just adding it to the pile. You are not allowed in here, you know that. <laughs> so we've got four stickies. Four lights. Should be easy to mount these. I'm gonna get them stuck now. All right, let's try placing them. So let's give this one a try. If I can do this with gloves. Hey, you there can. We, oh, I can't get it off. Thank you. Should be easier to film in here too. Yeah, hopefully. Can you grab that, please? We haven't done a lot, but I'm kind of been waiting till we have better lighting. Perfect. Okay. There you go. Looks good. Okay, so we have all four in now. It's time to wear.
probably like tape that up or zip tie that up. So we have this switch. This is build light. Jesse will do that while I'm filming. So we can see how bright it is. Okay, Jesse's about to hit it. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Wow! That is a crazy difference. Wow, that looks amazing. It's like freaking daylight. It is like daylight. Wow. That is amazing. Come on, bud, we going for a walk? We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on our future restoration projects. Thanks for watching.